All right, so I've got Yasmin again, and uh, this time I'm shooting her inside. Now, I've got beautiful light streaming in through the windows, and Yasmin's set back. Uh, we've got her laying out on the bed. I just want to do a really tight portrait again. So let's work through uh, the, the thought process for this shot. Again, I don't want, for this shot, I don't want a lot of detail in the background. I really want to throw the background out of focus. I really want Yasmin to be the hero of this shot. So I'm shooting wide open, f2.8. I've got my long lens, so that's why I'm back a fair bit. And of course, I'm going to focus on the eyes and I'm going to see, uh, I know that uh, Yasmin's not going to be moving around in this shot. She's going to be quite still. So I can actually afford to have a slower shutter speed because I'm using my tripod. So for this, if I wanted to, as a minimum, I could probably get away with a 60th or a 30th of a second as long as she doesn't jump around and move a lot, which she's not going to. So that's my minimum. So then I need to find out what the best ISO value to shoot is. And at this point, I've taken a guess because I'm inside. When I'm shooting inside, I start at F ISO 400 because that's uh, the minimum for shooting inside and I start going up from there. You wanna, you wanna be conservative when you're working with ISO because when you start getting up there with the high ISOs, you also get a lot of extra noise in your shot. And then if you wanna use it uh, to print it large or it might go as a billboard or something like that, you are going to start seeing all the extra grain in the shot. So we're sticking with 400. And in this instance, because there's lots of light kicking around, ISO 400 is going to work perfectly. So then all I need to do is adjust my shutter speed until uh, when I'm looking through the viewfinder and I'm seeing the uh, uh, exposure settings, I wanna be, for a good skin tone, I wanna be between zero and one stop over to get a nice, clean, beautifully exposed skin tone. So I'm just gonna ride the shutter and I'm at, uh, we'll just keep clicking until I get somewhere between zero and one. And in this instance, it's going to be one, one one hundredth of a second at f2.8. Let's have a look at that. That just looks beautiful. So I just want to show you what the difference is if I photograph Yasmin at the correct exposure according to the camera, which is metering off her skin tone and the actual reflected light. Uh, so the camera is telling me that my exposure is over and if I go by what the camera says, it needs to be that. And that's what it looks like. That's the correct exposure according to the camera, which is taking an average reading based on all the light kicking around here. And it's telling me that that's correct. And I don't think so. I don't think that looks nearly as good as what we've created, overriding the camera setting and not listening to Hans in the slightest. All right, so that's looking good. Um, let's do a few more. So that's the, that's the camera. That's our setting going uh, slightly overexposed. You can see it's much more. There's still plenty of detail there in the skin tone, plenty. But it's, um, it's, lo it, it's looking much better than that. That's underexposed. That's the average reading, okay? We don't want average. We want better than average. Let's shoot a few more. All right, that's beautiful. So just looking straight at me, that's great. So again, I'll make sure that I'm locking onto Yasmin's eyes. We want them to be nice and sharp. There we go. And there we go. Nice. And as she moves around, she might I might be losing the spot like She's moving her head from side to side, so where I've selected my focus point might move 
All I do instead of moving the camera is I just change my focus point across and back. So I've got my uh, finger on the focus point selector and my finger on the dial and it's moving the focus point back left and right to get it back over her eyes. So I'm constantly locking on her eyes and keeping her eyes in focus. So there we go. That's great. Beautiful. And then that means I can focus on just encouraging her. You look, you look beautiful. That's fantastic. Really strong. Just strong to me. Hold that. Just chin up just a little bit. That's great. That's great. Hold that. Fantastic. Beautiful. Chin down. Chin down. That's it. Straight at me. Okay, and I just want you to gaze out past the camera. That's great. Chin up. Chin up. That's great. And eyes to me. Eyes to me. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, I want to try one more thing. I'm just going to come in really close now. I'm going to crop into her face and I'm really going to make that background go creamy and out of focus so you can't tell what it is whatsoever. So let's just go in a little bit closer. And I'm cropping in now through the forehead. That's it. Nice and tight, that's it. That's great. That's nice. Three and throw the focus. I'm just going to come in a bit tighter. That's great. There we go. That's it. Just head up a little bit higher. That's it. Chin down just a fraction. There. That's great. We've got beautiful catch lights in the eyes. There we go, nice and nice and tight. And you can't tell where that is at all. There's no no indication. Skin is creamy and soft and beautiful. Perfect lighting for any headshot. Just really simple, clean, easy. Get rid of all the details straight at me. That's great. Hold that. That's beautiful. That's it. Locking onto the eyes as she moves. She moves too much. I move my focus point, but right now it's just locked on exactly there. That's great. Nice. Fantastic. So occasionally when you're working up this close uh, to, to a portrait, there might be an occasion where uh, the eye will be between two focal points. It's not a clean sort of shift from one focal point to the other. So what do you do in that instance? I actually have to, uh, I just uh, tweak the camera slightly or I might ask my model just to move in a little bit, move their face tilt slight angle just so that I get that focal point over the eyes because that's the most important thing in a portrait that the eyes are sharp so move the focal point or tweak the camera slightly or ask the model to move slightly